What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna go ahead and start this video off. We got some new shoes. We'll get into that right now. Pretty excited for these. Um, got the Sockney Endorphin Speeds. Uh, this is probably the ugliest colorway they have though, but it's the only one that they had locally that I could pick up the same day as I ordered it. Because you know, I am a millennial and I have to have things like this, but yeah, it's definitely not that pretty of a shoe. They definitely have better colorways, but I am super excited about trying this shoe out and we're just gonna go do that right now. Okay, so we are about to get into a track workout with the new Endorphin Speeds, but we are coming from using the Nike Vaporflies and there are some differences in between the shoes obviously and i want to get into like dude i love the vapor flies i would buy another pair pair after pair if they weren't so expensive 250 dollars and these are only 160 and these just do not last as long as i would want them to uh i mean i love the shoe it's got the uh, nike zoom x foam right here which is super light and very cushiony but it is not durable at all i remember after my first run i had with it was a track workout and there was already like it was already peeling away and you can see right here i mean but these have like tons of miles on them and i would probably contribute my leg injury probably to running on these shoes because they're worn out but yeah we're gonna get into some differences in between the shoes uh this has a carbon fiber plate in it so it's super stiff and uh, makes it super springy whenever you're running on it and stuff and the endorphin speeds have a nylon plate in it it's not as stiff but it's still a plated shoe if you haven't ran in a plated shoe dude it's it's insane like the differences between a plated shoe and a not plated shoe like you just feel so springy i feel so much faster like of course some of it's probably in my head but it's i mean it's not like these are racing shoes uh, the Sogni Endorphin Speed is going to be like a daily trainer slash a race shoe. Like if I wanted to race in this, I could. And again, dude, this color is just so ugly. It's it's black and gold, but this gold doesn't look gold. It looks brown. Like I don't know. I don't know. But it's not about the looks and the aesthetics. It's just about the performance. And I'm excited to jump into this track workout we're about to get into. This short little track workout and test these bad boys out. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be my daily trainer. Uh, for this next prep that we're gonna be doing which I will get into maybe in this video or maybe in the next video But yeah, let's jump into this track workout I wanted you in the worst way. I couldn't have you in the first place You got me sinking through the floor. I'm just trying to get you on that first day I drink it home by myself. Okay, so this track workout is gonna be pretty simple We're gonna do a one mile warm-up then followed by four 400 meter repeats followed by two 800 meter repeats. Then we will do a mile run at a decent pace, probably anywhere from between six minute to 6.30 pace. Then we will do a one mile cool down and that will be our workout for today, testing out the endorphin speeds and let's just get into it. So why you wanna run for me now, love? Why you calling all the shots on? Someday I'ma be somebody, you'll see. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours. We just made it to the gym. We're gonna jump into a push workout. I'll put the workout on the screen for you guys. So if you wanna screenshot it and use this workout, but yeah, let's just jump into it. So why you wanna run for me now, love? Why you calling all the shots on? Someday I'ma be somebody. You'll see, you'll see. So why you wanna run for me now, love? Why you calling all the shots on? Someday I'ma be somebody. 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 
Okay, so I guess while we're on the topic of getting new things, upgrading things in this video, we already started off with getting the new endorphin speeds. Uh, I've got a new camera set up. We have upgraded from the Canon G9X, which I've got this back in like 2017. Uh, and, and back then, I think it was already outdated too. But upgraded to the Canon Rebel T7i, which is gonna be, hopefully you can notice the quality difference now and then between the videos earlier. But with that being said, like, dude, you don't need the best equipment to get started. Like a lot of people use that as an excuse to never get started of whatever they wanna do. Oh, I don't have the best this, I don't have the best that. Whenever they could buy something to just get them started. Like, even though, like this, even whenever I bought it back in like 2017, I, I sat on it for maybe a year and didn't make any videos, but I bought it for the sole purpose of making videos and I regret not starting earlier because I could be a whole year ahead in these videos from where I'm at right now and that's just a year of learning experience. But yeah, just thought I would throw that in there. So with the Canon T7i, we're gonna be shooting in 60 FPS and 1080p and it's also gonna give us a ton of options with lenses, like if we ever wanna buy a new lens or anything like that. Also, it has an audio jack, so we have the Rode Video Micro hooked up to it now, which hopefully this increases the quality of the audio, especially in the wind. I always dealt with the wind screwing up a lot of my clips with uh, the Canon G9X because I didn't have uh, a dedicated mic for this camera besides the one the camera just has. Plus this has a windshield so that helps in windy situations. So hopefully that helps the quality of these videos. But yeah, I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos. Hopefully you notice the effort. If you would do me a favor and just subscribe real quick. Just I'm on my knees begging for subscribers right now. But yeah, we just finished that push workout. We're going to jump in tomorrow and we're gonna do another run, a long run in the Saucony Endorphin Speeds. Okay, so it is the next day. We're about to go on a long run with the Endorphin Speeds and see how they play out during the long run. Um, yesterday during the track workout, it worked well, but I'll get into more in depth uh, my initial thoughts on these shoes after we get done with this long run. I think we're gonna do 15 miles today. But yeah, it's, the weather is perfect out here this weekend. It's nice and cool, but the sun's also out, so it's not too chilly. I've also started using for my nutrition during runs, Tailwind, just liquid nutrition. Just putting this in my water. And this has helped me out tremendously. Like I have had zero gut issues since I switched to Tailwind. So that is exciting. Like for like a month there, I was having a lot of trouble with uh, gut issues on my runs, like constantly having to go to the bathroom, constantly searching for a porta potty, and it was miserable. So, yeah, started using Tailwind, and dude, my gut issues have been significantly better. But yeah, we're gonna jump into this 15 mile run. Six hours later. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours since we finished today's 15 mile long run. Uh, and yesterday we had a five mile track workout in the Saucony endorphin speed so I figured after these 20 miles I would share with you guys my initial thoughts on the endorphin speeds and forgive me because I'm going to do a lot of comparing between the endorphin speeds and the Nike Vaporflies. I know the endorphin speeds are not a direct competitor with the Vaporflies. Saucony does have in their lineup a carbon plated shoe, race day shoe. Now that would be a competitor with the Vaporflies but what I was looking for in a shoe right now at this moment was basically more of a daily trainer that I could just rack up miles on and that would be way more durable than the Vaporflies. So I really went with the Endorphin Speeds for that reason. And I'm only comparing the Speeds with the Vaporflies because the Vaporflies are really the only real running shoe I've ever owned or had an experience with. So that's really all I have to go off of at this point in time. But I do like the Endorphin Speeds. Uh, they are way more comfortable. 
but I can tell a lot of noticeable differences between the endorphin speed and the vapor flies and I mean that's gonna make sense because this is a $160 shoe nylon plated shoe and the vapor flies are a $250 shoe and a carbon plated shoe but yeah let's just go ahead and get into my initial thoughts on the shoes so the Saucony endorphin speeds just putting them on they're just so much more comfortable to me than the vapor flies are like they're just so much more comfortable especially on today's 15 mile long run so much more comfortable but I do notice some big differences between the two and obviously uh, but I'm just not getting as much energy return from the speeds as I am with the vapor flies dude the vapor flies are just so much fun so springy I can just maintain my momentum so much easier and effortlessly in the vapor flies than I can with the speeds um, it is a nice comfortable ride in the speeds but yesterday during the track workout going at faster paces in the endorphin speeds it was just a noticeable difference in my effort that I was having to put in to maintain that speed um, the Saucony endorphin speeds have this speed roll technology basically the toe here it goes up right here and then it just makes it easier for you to just maintain your momentum and move forward uh, in each step and each stride um, speed roll technology Nike has this basically the same thing to my knowledge, uh, but they call it the rocker technology, I believe. Uh, it's the same thing, just makes it easier for you to get into each step and each stride and maintain your momentum. I don't understand the differences between uh, speed roll and rocker. They seem, the only difference between the two to me seems to be the name, but I, it was definitely less noticeable in the speeds, and I guess I could have to do with stack hype or something like that uh, again I'm not a shoe reviewer uh, I don't know all these terms and stuff that you guys may be looking for I'm just gonna be sharing with you my initial thoughts my experience with the two shoes but yeah like it's definitely gonna be a more comfortable ride in the Saucony endorphin speeds uh, and another thing like durability I've had 20 miles on this shoe uh, this weekend and the shoe looks, looks like it's holding up great like I could wash this off and then it would look perfect uh, I remember after my first run like a track workout like an eight mile track workout in the vapor flies it was already wearing and tearing uh, on the bottom of the shoe so that's a big noticeable difference to me and that's again the one of the big reasons I purchased this shoe for was for durability and just racking up miles in my training uh, but yeah I mean that's pretty much my first initial thoughts on the shoe. But yeah, I'm looking forward and training in these the next few months. I know they're gonna hold up and be durable, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.